This is Leland Stein on the stage of the Regent Theater, Arlington Showplace of Entertainment since 1916, and I'm here with Greg Klima, who heads up our next Tom Petty Night at the Regent on Friday, March 25th. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> Leland. How's it going? It's caffeinated. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, here man. we are, and uh, you'll be right on this stage just a little over a week from now. Really looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, coming back and uh, tell us tell us a little about what the audience might expect. Give us a sneak preview. What are you excited about this time around? I believe this is our fifth Tom Petty night at the Regent Theater. We've done three of them with a seven piece version of a band making some noise. And uh, we now we got a five piece version of the band. We were here in October. So I'm speaking to anybody that's seen the band play before. Expect to hear some of the same song selections, but we're gonna dig a little deeper into the catalog, which as you know, we like to do. You, you, you want your running down a dream. You want your American girl, we know, we got you. But there's a couple of songs that maybe you need to hear, and we're going to sneak those into the set list, too. I'm looking forward to it. I've really enjoyed the past few shows. And uh, tell us a little bit about the band, because these guys are great musicians that you put together. And uh, they didn't just come out of nowhere, but somehow they all get it, too. Well, I've, I've worked with Andy Santospago the longest. Andy and I met at the Burren uh, playing an Americana session many years ago and just a, a really good camaraderie developed there. And when I started putting together certain shows, I was doing something called Americana Monday and Americana Sundays for a few years. Andy was a regular collaborator with that. And I wanted to do a Tom Petty night and I was like, you know, who do you know on keyboards? So it was Andy that introduced me to Jeff Calder. I see. You know, so th that that connection happens there. Uh, the person that will be playing drums on this show is Pat Dalton. Pat and I met at Toad, you know, like five or six years ago when he was playing with Honey Talk. And uh, Pat is, not only is he a rock and roll drummer, but the man can sing. So it adds another voice to the show. And uh, I met Ron Shane, the bass player, when he was playing in a different Tom Petty band. And uh, when he when he left that group, I was like, hey, friend. Their loss you know, is our game. You right? know, would you like to play some music together? And, and he he was very psyched about like getting together and playing some tunes. And also, not only does he bring all of that musicality to the group, but also a lead singer, harmony vocalist. So we got four guys in the band that can sing. We can do the two and three part harmony stuff on the songs. Andy is a shredding guitar player. Jeff Calder, not only is he playing piano and organ parts that you're familiar with from what Benmont did, but he also, like he uses the technology and, and brings in the string sections on certain songs or adds the very horn cool. part. Like he has all of that dialed in too. So it's a very full sounding five piece band playing all your favorite Tom Petty stuff. And a couple that maybe you don't get from the other bands. You Even know, Greg, I was thinking it's been almost five years since we met and it's a long story, but I'll tell it the long story short as I remember it, but you know, <laughs> it's been a few years of pandemic in between, but you and I didn't know each other, although both Arlington residents for a long time. Mutual friends. Somehow I had an extra ticket for the last Tom Petty show that came through Boston in July of uh, 2017 and I couldn't get anyone to go with people are away crazy I, I don't know what it was so I'm at the train station <laughs> ready to head into the garden and I bump into our friend Dino and I say I got this extra ticket what do I I know someone <laughs> a guy named Greg he went last night I did he's on his way to a gig he'll give up the gig to I go did. to this show he'll find <laughs> someone else so I was like okay fine so Greg and I met up at the garden uh, sometime during Peter Wolf's opening set, we sat at the front row of the faraway balcony <laughs> and uh, really enjoyed an amazing show. That's how we met. Several months later, we were at uh, one of our favorite watering holes, uh, Regent Theater restaurant partner, the Monotomy Grill. We kind of looked each other with, at each other with sadness over what had happened with uh, Tom's passing. Disbelief. And disbelief and kind of almost didn't even say it like let's put on a show it just kind it, of was a very organic thing and i i i love it when things like that happen you know? i kind of feel like we were uh two new friends grieving uh, uh our, our common uh, the thing that brought us together in the first place right you know 
And the amazing thing is you said, I'll, I'll put a band together, we'll do this. And I believe that was what, October, and by February, you were staging the first Tom Petty night and we sold out. So, I mean, talk about an achievement, but just a lot of, a lot of things came together quickly. Really quickly. And, yeah. uh, you know, be, way beyond my expectations of what could have happened in that short amount of time of you, you know, throwing a band together. Obviously your passion for the man and his music was, uh, first and foremost and uh you know the the fuel that that uh, got that whole thing going i've i've had a well-rounded education in music from three cousins in a polka band in buffalo when i was growing up to buying back in black when it was a brand new album to seeing willie nelson was the first concert i ever went to when i was 13 the same year i started playing guitar like all these steps along the way uh, musically this thing called mtv existed when i was a teenager and and mm -hmm. you know who's that guy like tom petty was making some really interesting videos and while i was listening to a lot of willie nelson merle haggard and, and waylon jennings music i was transfixed by what i was seeing as i think a lot of people my age were at the time and then as i started developing my guitar playing I, I came into my own as a songwriter and right around the time that I started writing songs, Tom Petty releases full moon fever followed a few years later by wildflowers, you know? So my introduction to his music is at the advent of his solo career. And, uh, I don't know. I, I, I can, I can look at Bob Dylan and see the influence. I can look at the Beatles of course, and see the influence. But when I think about my the rock and roll influence on my life, it is Tom Petty. You know, Steve Earle and Willie Nelson get mad props. Hank Williams, come on. You know, but when you're looking at the rock and roll, Tom Petty's my head guy. He's my Mount Rushmore. He's all four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't think you're alone there. And I was thinking the other other night, we had uh, one of our uh, Elvis Presley tribute artists on this stage just last weekend. And I was mentioning the upcoming shows, including Tom Petty Night, and got a really good response from an audience that was there to here an Elvis tribute. And I was really thinking, you know, Tom Petty has really become, even before he died, an icon of American music. I mean, you know, I have XM satellite radio and the Tom Petty channel, which you thought was a short time tribute after his passing is like, that's there, that's right. a permanent fixture. And uh, it's just, uh, it's heartwarming, you know, it, it's it's bittersweet, the whole thing, you know, it's it's, true with all of these uh, great musicians that we know and love that are no longer with us that thank goodness the music is here and when someone has the passion you do enough to bring a show um, it really shows in the you know there's a vibe involved you know the region it's, it's, theater has a certain vibe you there's guys a lot are, of vibe it, there's a there's a lot of joy in the room to play that music well friends we got we got some seats available pandemic style you know there were some there were some things that kind of uh you know it discouraged people from going out for a while but uh mask mandates and vaccine mandates are are, are easing up in yes. arlington we, we, we've and, moved uh, on to a mask optional policy so for this show. if you're more comfortable wearing a mask please wear a mask i went to see billy strings at the roadrunner on tuesday pie day and there were several thousand people there not wearing masks, and I wore a mask the whole time because I was more comfortable wearing a mask. If that's your jam, please feel comfortable to wear your mask and join us. If not wearing your mask is your thing, uh, the, the mandate has been lifted, and good seats are still available. And either way, the bar will be open. <laughs> either serving, way, the bar will be open. Serving <laughs> some uh, adult refreshments, <laughs> beer and wine, and the concession stand, the famous Regent Theater popcorn. And I, I and got a new CD that has a cover version of Refugee on it. Oh, there you're you looking go. For, if you're looking for some new music, yo, I got you. Yeah, so we're, I mean, it's exciting. We're talking about Tom Petty Night at the Regent returning Friday, March 25th, 8 p.m. show, as Greg mentioned. Uh, good seats are still available. You'll want to be here. It's going to be a fun night. Just go to regenttheater.com or you can call the box office 781-646-4849. That's 781-646-4TIX tickets. Greg, thanks for stopping by the Leland. Regent stage. 
Good to see you again, my friend. I know, and I'm so excited. We'll be seeing you in just a few days from now. Friday the 25th. See All you right. here too. All right. Take care, everybody.